There is your last list of, list of items for a quiz. This will be quiz five. And this is going to cover the lower limbs, ankle, and foot. So let's get started with uh, kind of the overview of all of these, at, almost all of them at once. We've already talked about the hips. That's up here. There's femur, patella, which is your kneecap, tibia, fibula, and then all the uh, ankle bones, which we'll cover, the foot bones, and also the toe bones. So we've already talked about femur quite a bit multiple times. This is your uh, upper leg bone, or just known as the thigh. There's a few parts to this that I'm going to want you guys to know, and they're actually kind of easy, and there's two to focus on that kind of makes the rest of them pretty easy. Um, two easy ones are the head and the neck, and they are right here. The head is going to articulate up in the hip with acetabulum. The neck, which is just cre um, creating a connection there between the head and the rest of the bone. The greater trochanter is this part up here that kind of sticks out underneath the neck. And this would be the right femur. So this is going to be the outside on the left here. And then the lesser trochanter is on the inside. Uh, the shaft of the bone, just like we've talked about before, is right here. And then two other parts, lateral and medial epicondyles. And they are the parts that kind of bump out at the bottom. Lateral meaning the outside, so that would be this side here, and medial would be on this side. Here's the back view of the same bone. The only difference really that you see when you turn it around are these two little bumps here. This would be on the right side now lateral condyle, and medial condyle, this is what's going to articulate uh, to create the knee. Uh, so patella is your kneecap. This is known as a sesamoid bone because it is embedded in a tendon. Kneecap is right here. There are two tendons removed. Actually the quadriceps tendon which holds the kneecap from above and the patella tendon which holds the kneecap from below and actually going to attach on the tibia down here. You can also get a good look at the knee. Uh, this, is, this would be uh, lower leg bones. You can see fibula here, so this would be the outside of the knee, which is this ligament then would be the lateral collateral ligament. And this would be the medial collateral ligament on the inside. You also have two ligaments on the inside. The ACL, which is, stands for anterior cruciate ligament, is going to be in the front. And these make an X shape. That's where the cruciate comes from. And then the... Uh, posterior cruciate ligament, which would be in the back, the PCL. And oftentimes you hear people of messing up these tendons and hurting their knees. And there you can see again the cartilage that makes up those uh, condyles. That's going to articulate with these meniscus down here uh, to form the knee joint. Another bone that I won't quiz you on, but the hyoid bone, now that we're talking about sesamoid bones, it's another bone that's located up in the neck. Uh, it's another interesting bone because it uh, doesn't articulate to make really a joint. It just kind of hangs out. And it's uh, used for swallowing, moving the tongue, and helping out with epiglottis and stuff, which we'll talk about those things when we get to digestion. Uh, next up is the tibia, which is known as the shin bone, and that would be this guy here, this big one. Uh, and that is the weight-bearing bone. Fibula here on the outside, this would be the right leg. Fibula here on the outside does not bear any weight. There are two condyles that I'm not going to ask you to remember, but uh, might be interested for some extra credit on the test. Uh, the lateral condyle, which would be on the outside here. Medial condyle on the inside. Tibial tuberosity is just this bump here on the front, which is going to connect the patellar tendon. And then down here on the bottom is the medial malleolus. It's on the inside. And this is a bump that you can, if you're feeling, your, uh, if you're feeling this on the very inside, you have a pretty big bone, most of us do, pretty big bone that sticks out um, down around your ankle. That's this part down here. And the next up is fibula. That's going to be the smaller bone on the outside that does not bear any of the body's weight. There's no direct connection to the femur in humans, at least. 
Uh, the head is up here. That's going to articulate with tibia. And then down here, the lateral medial malleolus. And if you feel the outside of your ankle, there's another bump that sticks out. That's what you're feeling there. And then parts down here will articulate with the ankle bones. Also moving out of the foot and ankle, the first ankle bone is 5A talus. And that's going to be this one at the top. You can see it here in the side view as well. That's going to articulate with the tibia. And this is um, allowing pretty free rotation of the, uh, the foot, you can see there. And then other bones are coming underneath it, such as calcaneus, which is your heel bone, which uh, connects the Achilles tendon, but most importantly is supporting most of the body's weight. We're going to be sitting right out here on the heel, why it's so humongous. And so that would be this guy underneath right there, underneath the talus, and then 5C through 5G are the rest of the tarsal bones. You can see in between these two lines here. Uh, 5C is cuboid, and that's this one right here. The cuboid bone is going to be on the outside of the foot, closest to the metatarsals. And then moving to our right to the inside, is uh, articulating with talus, and that's navicular. And navicular is connecting to these three, what are called cuneiform bones. And they are in order here, lateral, intermediate, and medial going outside in. Lateral cuneiform right here, intermediate in the middle, and medial on the inside closest to the midline, why it's called medial cuneiform. Oops. Number six, the metatarsals. They are all right here. Pretty simple. They are first, second, third, fourth, and fifth metatarsals. They are forming the instep, which is important because it gives your foot an arch, which is also helping to carry some of the load and also um, the site of attachment of ligaments for your foot to be able to move as it does. And then last, the phalanges are the toes. And similar to the phalanges that were you saw on your hand, uh, the big toe, like the thumb, is missing the middle bone. The rest of them all have three digits, proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. All right, now time for a little quiz if you're interested. I'm going to move this little arrow around and you can just kind of think of what the part is. Just that bone in general. You can also tell me that part of the bone. And that would be the shaft of the femur. If you need a second to think about the answer, you might want to pause the video. This guy right here is patella, the kneecap. Over here is tibia. This guy up here, a little bump on the tibia, is the tibial tuberosity. It's bone on the outside of the tibia it is fibula. It can also be seen down here. That right there is the head of the femur. You can see it inserts an acetabulum. Here is the greater trochanter, which then obviously makes that the lesser trochanter. This is the outside bottom part of the femur, so this would be the lateral epicondyle making this then the medial epicondyle. Moving on over here to the foot and ankle bones. At the very back is the heel called calcaneus. Let's mix it up a little bit. 
We go to the outside bone connecting to the metatarsals. That is cuboid. The middle bone of the three coming together here. That's the intermediate cuneiform. This big guy here, which is projecting upwards, articulating with tibia, is the talus. Over here in the outside of the foot is the lateral cuneiform, meaning then that this would be the medial cuneiform. These guys here in your screen in pink are the metatarsals. And if I had a bracket, I'd use it here. Green, purple, and yellow. Here are the phalanges. Proximal, intermediate, and distal, or medial. Or sorry, intermediate, in the middle. Alright, so that finishes up the lower limb, ankle, and foot.